Roswell Flight Test Crew back here at CES 2015 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm standing here with Michael Perry from DJI. How you doing, Michael? I'm doing excellent. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, glad to have you here. Glad to have you here. Now, I understand you've got a mysterious object for us to take a look at that is as yet unnamed. <laughs> well, it's right now we're calling it the Inspire One camera mount. And uh, like the name suggests, it actually uses the same camera that's on the Inspire One you can take it off the platform and literally mount it to this system so that after a full day of shooting aerial footage, if you want ground coverage, you can take the same 4K camera off the platform, mount it here, and then you're gonna get the same level of three axis stabilization and smooth video wall on the ground as well as the exact same footage that you're getting in the air. So like in the, in the Inspire One demo I've seen online, you show it like floating through a winery, you know, where it's pretty low altitude, so this, you just bust this out, you can get that footage that matches. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, this camera is really fantastic. It's a 90 degree uh, field of view, rectilineal distortion, so it's going to give you a beautiful flat image that you're not going to have to do a lot of processing to afterwards. And so you've got matching footage from the air and from the ground and it really just continues the creative possibilities of what the Inspire One is able to do. But how can you see what you're shooting, or can you? Well, it's a rosette here, that's a three uh, a quarter inch screw mount. You can uh, uh, mount it to pretty much anything, and that includes, I just took this off for the demo, but our iPhone case holder, you're able to see what the camera's seeing using the exact same app that's on the Inspire One. So it streams video to your phone, via Wi-Fi, you can control all the camera settings, ISO, shutter speed, uh, exposure compensation, and also uh, set 4K video or the JPEG versus RAW and all of that in one handy app. Very slick, very slick. Now, uh, this is obviously more relevant with aircraft, but how long does the battery last on this thing? Four hours. So compare that to most other action cameras, and I think this is a pretty competitive product for everything from s extreme sports photography, Wedding photography, real estate, anybody who wants a full day of shooting, both from the air and from the ground. Now, um, so speaking of sports, are you looking at some way that a person could like mount this to their body so that you know, like a skier could have it off his back watching the action? Yeah, absolutely. Once it's closer to the release date, we'll be announcing a series of mounts that will con uh, go together with this. But like I said, with this uh, mounting system, you can pretty much put it on anything. It just it's up to your imagination. Very cool, very cool. Now, I, I, I'm not sure if we covered this, but you said this is one of six units in the world, one of six prototypes. Yes, that's right. So this is in very early stages, but at the same time, it's performing extremely well after being handled by hundreds, if not thousands of people over the past week. So uh, we're looking at a Q2 launch date, and uh, yeah, we're very excited to see it come out and see what people can do with it. Outstanding. I was like, now I just have to ask for everybody who can't make it out here to CES, there is this enormous black box beside us here. What's happening? And there's a line of people waiting to get in the black box. What's happening in the giant black box? I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, uh, it's actually a uh, 3D projection. Uh, one of the things that's been a challenge, I think, for the UAS industry is because it's so new that very few people actually understand what it is and what it's like to fly. So because we can't allow people to fly in the cage, we wanted to give a virtual experience of what it's like to be up in the air and see what the camera is seeing in real time. So we've created a 3D projection of uh, different scenarios that you could be flying in and also a phantom that you see flying through all those different environments. And it's this really immersive experience that's really opening up people's imagination to what they can do with drones and UAS technology. And well, Michael, thank you so much for your time. It was an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And from CES 2015 in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off. Thanks, Michael. Sure.